Hello, my friends. Welcome to Crojo Corner. If you like free patterns, you've come to the right place. Today, I have 35 free mosaic crochet patterns to share with you, and they are so exquisite and beautiful. I can't wait to show everybody. But first, I'm going to go ahead and greet the uh, people in the chat. And uh, thank you all for being here. And if you are watching the replay, thank you as well. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, thank Ursula because she gifted a membership, and it showed up in the chat. Uh, last night, but now it's disappeared and she gifted a membership and it went to Faith from Unique Amazing Stripes. So this is for you, Ursula. Thank you so much. And this is for you, Faith, for becoming a member again to the uh, Crojo Club. And it's great to have you back, Faith. Thank you so much. And um, hello, Katrina. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. Hi, Paula. Thank you for coming in. And Roberta says, good afternoon, Laura and everyone sitting in the hospital waiting room for my daughter to get out of recovery. Her surgery went well, waiting for her to get to her room. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad that she's doing good. And Katrina is saying hello to Paula. Hi, Cammie. How are you? Thank you for coming in. And Paula says, how are you? I am doing good. And I don't know if she was saying that to Katrina or me, but I'm doing pretty good today. And Paula is saying hi to Cammie. Katrina says, I am good. Thanks. How are you doing? And hello, brother, Cammy says Katrina. Everyone is saying hello. Thank you all for being here. Nufi Grandma Creates says, hi, everyone. Hello, Nufi Grandma. Thank you for coming in. Hi, Aisha. How are you? It's good to see you. She says, hi, Lauren, everyone in the chat. I hope you're doing good today, Aisha. How's things going? Hi, Granny D. She says, howdy do, Laura. Howdy do to all. Howdy do, Granny D. How are you? And there's Faith. Thank you so much, Faith. And Nufi is saying hello. And Katrina is saying hello to Granny. And Aisha is saying hi to Katrina. Shelly Smith says good evening, everyone. Well, good afternoon for most of you. Yes, it's only 1 o'clock Central Standard Time where we are. Everyone is saying hello. Thank you all for being here. Willing Around with Joy says hello, Laura and all. Hi, Joy. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Katrina says welcome all in. And please remember to hit those thumbs up for our wonderful host. Thank you, Katrina, for the reminder. And Granny says, Roberta, great news about your daughter. Prayers for a speedy and complete recovery. Yes, most definitely. And Stephanie says, hello, Laura, and hello, everyone in the bushes listening. Thank you for coming in, Stephanie. And Granny saying hi to Joy and Stephanie. And make sure you stick around because I will be giving away the secret word for um, the second week of September. And um, this month's prize is um, a set of Halloween stitch markers. I made a bunch of these. Um, this past weekend. So these are super cute. And this is the actual set you will be getting. Um, I do have other sets for sale. They are just like this, but um, the little the little skull will be different colors. I only had one orange skull. But um, if you wanted to purchase a set of these uh, cute little Halloween stitch markers, they are $15 uh, shipped as long as you're in the lower 48 states. It does include shipping, and this is what the September prize is going to be. You get five really cute stitch markers. You get, like, candy corn and a little pumpkin and a little skull. So cute. These were fun to make. Stick around because I will be giving away the secret word. So let's go ahead and pull up uh, mosaic uh, patterns that I'm going to be showing with you today. And these are so awesome. I can't wait to show you. So the first one is called Into the Woods. And this is by Abby McIntyre. This is a free PDF that you can download from Ravelry if you just click this button right here. And it's using DK weight. And it comes in both U.S. and U.K. terms. Isn't that adorable? And you can make like a little mug rug with it. You can use it as a repeat pattern. Oop. Hold on here. And then look how different it looks. I love the way it looks in the white with the black background, like a starry sky. Isn't that cool? Love that. So if you would like that pattern, it is um, a free Ravelry download. So you just click that button right there and you'll have that pattern for free. Now, this is called Starburst. This is in UK terms, but you can always have it translated easily if you uh, 
put it into chat GPT, or I think there is some kind of a translate thing. But this is so pretty. I couldn't not share it with you. Look at that. How gorgeous. It reminds me of like a kaleidoscope. Isn't that beautiful? Let me just go back to chat. And Granny says, way cute stitch markers. Thanks, Granny. And Cammy says, Laura, I am probably going to have to watch Friday's live stream replay because we have to babysit Emma and her walking self. Oh, she's walking now, getting into everything. How fun. Well, you enjoy being with Emma. And um, if you make it, I'll be glad to see you. And if you watch the replay, I'll be glad too. And um, I hope you have a good time with Emma. Christy Yarnbarf says, hi, Laura. Hello to everyone in the chat. Thank you for coming in, Christy. How are you? Granny says, Sandrine is the mosaic queen. I hope she sees these. I hope she does too. I was thinking about her this whole time I was gathering all these patterns. And Christy says, how do you do, Granny D? And Granny says, hi to Christy. Hugs, Christy. Christy's saying hi to Katrina. And Faith is saying hello to everyone. Thank you all for being so friendly and welcoming. I appreciate that. So here is the beautiful mosaic colors that you would use for this exact blanket. This is so pretty, isn't it? And then here it is all blue. Ooh, I love that. I've never personally tried mosaic, but I would really love to one day. Sandrine said it's easy. It just looks so intimidating. I don't know. But anyway, so this is by Frankie Brown, and it is a free Ravelry download. So you just click the link right here, and you can download the PDF to the pattern. Now, this is called 70s Retro Flower. I really like this pattern, and I like the colors that they used. This is um, using DK weight and a 4 millimeter hook. This is also a free Ravelry download PDF. And this is by uh, Jane Key Zat, Z-A-A-T. And the first name is J-A-N-N-E-K-E. -E. Pardon my uh, pronunciation there. But isn't that adorable? I really like that a lot. I really do. And that is using a uh, DK weight and a four millimeter hook. And it is available in English and Dutch terms. Now check this out. This is a free Ravelry download as well. This is exquisitely unique, like so ornate. Look at this and then, oh, this is so beautiful. And just think we can make that with single crochet. Look at that gray one. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm so like in awe by mosaic crochet. Let's see here. Let me catch up in chat. Faith says, I love mosaic. I love um, looking at it. I haven't tried it yet, but I really want to. I have like three blankets on my hook that I have to finish from like last year. Everyone is saying hello. Thank you for greeting each other. Katrina says, I love mosaic. Yes. I do too. It's very pretty. And Cammie says, you know, I'm going to have fun with Emma. She can't get into the kitchen and dining room because she's blocked off from them, but she's still getting in trouble with her bad butt. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, yep. You got to baby proof everything. And Aisha says, I love mosaic. Yes, I do too. It's so pretty. And Joyce is beautiful. Ha ha. Cammie says, granny. Wow. Says Katrina. I know. Isn't that stunning? What is the name of this pattern? I will tell you in just a second. And Katrina says, I need to make this. Yes, isn't it pretty? And Yarnbarf says, I love it, but haven't tried it yet. That's that's the boat that I'm in, Christy. Okay, so let's see. This pattern is called A Midsummer Night's Dream. And it is by Svetlana. Let me spell the last name. R-O-G-A-T-Y-K-H. And it's called uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? Like what? And they give you all the charts and everything. Oh, this is the different patterns for the different languages. My bad. Isn't that just beautiful? Mm. And it says, for a slightly lighter and thinner blanket than a solid mosaic blanket overlay, you need to download the file. Oh, and then it tells you different uh, charts. And then there's solid interlocking or interlocking fillet. So there's, you can do this in a lot of different ways. So that's really, really cool. <clears throat> this one is called the Seeking Balance Cal by Iman Vanderkron. And it comes in English and 11 other languages. 
Look at this. This it reminds me of like a yin and yang symbol. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? That is so pretty. Granny says, hi, Isha. And uh, Faith says, Michelle Mosaic is more, wait, I'm sorry. Michelle Mosaic and more is doing a mosaic along where she will walk you through it starting the new year. Voting right now on her community tab. Ooh, that's kind of cool to know. Thank you so much. I need to write that down. Michelle Mosaic and more. I need to check out her community tab. I don't, I don't know if I'm subscribed to her or not. Thank you for sharing that with us, Faith. So this is so pretty. So here's some more colors. Oh, look at the little butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? Does anyone else feel intimidated by projects like this, or do you find it more of a challenge? I find it very intimidating. I started Sophie's Universe months ago and I got to row 10 and then I just, I don't know what happened. I put it down. Uh, this is using fingering weight in a three millimeter hook and you need about 3,200 to 4,300 yards or more, I'm sure. And this looks like a simple starter. This is a piece of my heart by Abby McIntyre, ABI. And it comes in both U.S. and U.K. terms. It is a free Ravelry download, which is nice. You could just print out the PDF or look at it on your computer or phone. But look at how cute that is, especially for like a beginner coaster or something like that. You could even do a, uh, like a purse, you know, like a little tote bag. So a bunch of these squares together. That would be so cute. Nice Valentine gift, perhaps. And let's see, right for sure, yin and yang vibes, right, Granny? That's the way I feel too. And she says, yes, very intimidating. And Katrina says, very intimidating for sure. I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels intimidated. <laughs> and let's see here. I just love this piece of my heart. Looks pretty easy. And they're using a five millimeter hook. And this is a really pretty uh, wrap. This is called monochrome bias wrap. Now, um, it's not a free Ravelry download, but it is available on the blog. So I'll show you this in a few minutes. Let me just walk you through so you can take a look at this pretty wrap. Isn't that gorgeous? Very nice. And let's see here. This is by Sylvia Cos. Kosinska, Kosinska, K-A-W-C-Z-Y-N-S-K-A, pardon me for mispronouncing. They're using um, Sheep She's, Sheep Just Whirlette fingering in a 3.5 millimeter hook, and you need about 1,389 yards, and it's free um, on the pattern website. If you just click the link, it'll take you right to the pattern right here. Isn't that pretty? Faith says, it seems intimidating until you break it down. My mind likes that each row is different and seeing the pattern come together. I need to just try it. Yes, that would be good because I get bored very easy, like just repeating the same row over and over. I can't handle that. I get so bored. So I think maybe I would like mosaic. You just have to pay attention really good. I guess it's kind of like looking at a cross stitch chart, you know, like a counted cross stitch because I always used to do that a lot. And Joy says, very pretty wrap. Yes, I think so too. Hi, Inga. How are you? It's good to see you. And Faith says, that is definitely on my list. And Katrina saying hello to Inga. Thank you all for being here. And make sure you stick around because I will be giving away the September second week word here in a few minutes. In a little bit. So let's... uh. Let's go on here. Now, look at this bag. This is an adorable boho diamond bag by Christine Blue, and it is available for free on her blog. This is cool. I love this bag. Let's look at it up close. Isn't that pretty? I love the ties, how she braided it together or chained it. You know, it's like a chain. Little tassels. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love the colors. 
looks very southwest. And you could purchase this pattern, or you can look at her blog and get it for free by clicking this link right here where it says on my blog. And there you go. There's the Tapestry Crochet Bag Free Crochet Pattern. And this is on SpottedHorseDesignCo.com. Isn't that cute? And it looks like she has a lot of different mosaics and different things. If you look over here on the side. And let's see here. This is a really cool one. This is called Boxes of Illusion. This is a free Ravelry download for a PDF that you could just print out by Robin B. Coletta, R-O-B-Y-N. K-A-L-E-T-A -E is how you spell the last name. But this is like an optical illusion. Look at how cool this is. Isn't that neat? And let's see. Faith says it helps to use stitch markers as she at the repeats. Okay. I'll have to remember that. And Roberta says the nurse just came, said Amy was in a lot of pain. Ooh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope she feels better. And Shelly says, I agree. It only looks intimidating until you begin. I am addicted to mosaic crochet. I just recently finished Tina's queen cow mosaic blanket pattern. Ooh, awesome. I've watched some of her videos before and she seems to have a really good way of teaching. And Unique Amazing Stripes Faith says, then I search for the pattern you show and I find another pattern to add. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because you can just um, do a different a different row, a different um, pattern for each like row. And it doesn't even have to be the same blanket. Or you could just design your own blanket, I guess. Interesting. But I thought this was really cool. And this is a free Ravelry download. And then we have this one. This one is called S-O-J-I Soji. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, by Mark Rose Bloom. This is a free Ravelry PDF that you can print out using Sheep Just Bamboo Soft Fingering Weight Yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. That is so pretty. I bet you they're so warm because they're super thick. So this is called S-O-J-I by Mark Rosebloom. Now here is a cozy C to C shawl. And this is a mosaic. At least they, um, they had it listed as mosaic. So let's see. Probably because they're changing colors every time. I'm not really sure. Isn't that beautiful though? Oh my gosh, I love it. That is absolutely gorgeous. But it was listed under the mosaic category. And this is using fingering weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. It's in both US and UK terms. And it is a free Ravelry download. And it says, um, I made this shawl using up scraps of yarn left over from other projects. It's a great way to use up those odd bits and pieces. That's awesome. Now look at this peace sign bag by Robin B. Coletta. And this is a free Ravelry PDF that I would love to make. Isn't that so pretty? Let's take a closer look. Ooh, look at that. Roberta says, the nurse said they will come and get me as soon as the room is ready. She has a pain pump for now and is slowly coming around. I'm so glad we'll be here th until then. Okay. I will um, keep her in my thoughts and prayers, Roberta. Hopefully she feels better. Thank you so much for the super chat, Shelly Smith. I truly appreciate that. I think that's really awesome. And this is for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shelly. And Katrina saying thank you to Shelly. And so is Faith. I do appreciate you girls being so polite and letting me know because sometimes these super chats get by and I don't notice them. Okay, let's see here. 
And Jeannie, aka Proverbs 31 Yarn, says hello to all in the chat. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. And Paula says, I like that peace sign. That is cool. I think so too. I love it, Paula. And this is a free Ravelry download, and it's just called Peace Sign by Robin B. Coletta, K A L E T A. And it is a free Ravelry download. And look at this one. If you like to go to the casino, this is a slot machine pillow, and you can get it for free on her blog. But let's take a closer look. Isn't that cool? I love that. Very, very neat. It looks just like a slot machine. So if you scroll down, um, let's see, this is, uh, you need 450 to 475 yards, and it's using Red Heart Super Saver Solids, Aaron Weight. And if you click on the link, it will take you to her blog and it will open up her free pattern. Isn't that cool? Let's see. Here's your crochet pattern right here. Oh, wow. She even has the whole chart and everything right here for you. See, it says jackpot. That's very nice. Love that. And then I thought this was really cute. If you like amigurumi. This is called Sabuli the Giraffe by Maureen's Shop. And this is free on her blog. But let's just take a look at this cute little giraffe. I love the shape with the long legs. Yeah, let's see. Shelly says, you are most welcome. You do so much for us. I really appreciate that, Shelly. I really do. And Paula says, I do. That is cool. Yes. And uh, Katrina says, hi to Jeannie. Shelly says, I do too, Paula. It is just beautiful, isn't it? Right? And Gina's saying, hola, Katrina. Paula says, I love to make that one. And Cammy says, hi, Jeannie, sweetheart. I love this little giraffe. Cammy, you should make one of these little giraffes for Emma. But don't put that little plastic nose on there. You got to you gotta make your own little nose. We don't want her to pull it off. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I just love it so much. And if you scroll down, it is available on her blog at maureenshop.com. And here is your free pattern right here. Now make sure you stick around. Let me show you again for the new people. Make sure you stick around because I'll be giving away the secret word, um, the second secret word for uh, September. Um, I did make these little Halloween stitch markers. This is a little skull right here. Just keeps turning around. These are little Halloween stitch markers that I made. Um, these are the uh, giveaway prize for September. So uh, there's five of them. And if you would like a set and uh, you would like to buy them, they are $15 with shipping. You don't have to pay shipping. I'll pay for the shipping, but it just is the lower 48 only. And just let me know if you would like... Uh, a set of these and I can send them out to you. The only thing that would be different would be the uh, orange skull would be a different color, but all the other ones would be exactly the same. There's like a little pumpkin there, a little candy corn. Whoa, I just dropped them. Sorry about that. So just stay tuned because I'll be telling you guys the secret word here in a few minutes. Roberta says, I can't seem to type, LOL. I'm going to be here till she is set up in her room, probably till about 5 p.m. Eastern. And they put her on a pain pump. I will definitely keep her in my thoughts there, Roberta. And thank you for being here listening. Shelly says, that giraffe is just adorable. Isn't it, though? And Cammy says, my cousin Dale's girl girlfriend, Kathy, loves going to the casino. I should make that casino pillow for her. Yes, you should. I bet she'd love it. That'd be a great Christmas gift. Shelly says, Roberta, I hope she heals quickly. Yes, I do, too. Aisha says, pretty stitch markers. Thank you so much, Aisha. They were fun to make. I used to make jewelry all the time. I actually used to be a jewelry instructor at Joann's years ago. That was really fun. Okay, the next uh, project here is the Evelyn's Peacock Inspired Bag. Now look at this. This is a free Ravelry download. Look at this pattern. It's so pretty. Could you imagine a blanket made out of that? Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. And then here it is up close. That is so cute. Absolutely beautiful. 
And this is by Evelyn Corselman, K-O-E-R-S-E-L-M-A-N. And it's called Evelyn's Peacock Inspired Bag using fingering weight and a three millimeter hook. And you'll need uh, 4,265 to 4,374 yards. And the instructions are in English and Dutch. So that's nice. Now here's a beautiful sampler Christmas Afghan called Deck the Halls by Lindsay Micah. This is a free Ravelry download um, using DK weight and a three and a half and a four millimeter hook. Look at how gorgeous this is. Shelly says, oh, wow, that peacock inspired bag is phenomenal. Isn't it though? I thought so too. That's why I had to show you guys. I was like, what? Like how do these people come up with these patterns? I'm not really sure, but they sure are talented. Now this is really pretty. Oh, I just love it. And look, they put little red um, star buttons at the top of each tree. Isn't that so cute? And then let's see. That is just so beautiful. And here it is all spread out so you can take a nice look at it. And they put little bows right here on the little garland. Amazing. And then there's little bobble stitches to separate the row right here. And looks like they have a little bead at the top of these little trees or a little button. Wow, the detail is amazing. Katrina says, missing some thumbs. Please hit the thumbs up. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. I would really appreciate it. If everyone could just hit that little button, just tickle that little uh, like button for me, please. So this is called Deck the Halls by Lindsay Micah. And here's another bag for you guys. This one is called the Maya Purse by... Fabian Chabrolin, and this is a free Ravelry download. Look at how pretty this one is. I love the colors. Is that not gorgeous or what? Mm, love it. And then here it is in some darker colors. So pretty. That looks like it would be a nice like beginner project, you know? They're just going in the round. That is so pretty. I really like the straps. And they're using sport weight yarn and a four millimeter hook. And it is a free Ravelry download called Maya Purse, M-A-Y-A. And then check out this Coco Pelle blanket. This is so unique and a great uh, Southwestern style uh, pattern. And it's by Terry Stopiello. And this is a free Ravelry download. So you could just print out the PDF directly. Isn't that amazing? So we can get all these charts for free, you know, and just print them out, keep them in a binder. And then you could just use portions of, you know, the each line and you can mix and match your blankets together. Like you could even turn these little triangles into Christmas trees if you wanted to, honestly. If you wanted to mix it up into a Christmas pattern and leave out the Coco Pelle. But isn't that cool? I love this blanket. When my husband and I first got together, he had a little Coco Pelle statue on his and on his coffee table. So every time I see those, I think of when we were first together. This is using Aran weight yarn and a five and a four and a half millimeter hook. And you'll use 3,300 to 3,500 yards. Now here's a hat, um, a mosaic hat. This is a free Ravelry download. I thought this was super cute. This is an, an adult medium and large size. I think that's pretty. I really like the colors that they used. And I like how it's like slouchy. And that one looks a little bit different. That one looks, that one looks a lot different actually. So obviously they didn't make that one slouchy, but I like this one better. And it's called Hatched Hat by Aunt Zany, Z-A-N-Y. It's a free Ravelry download. And then we have these adorable rainbow heart socks. Like what? These are available for free on her blog. And these are by S-I-N-A-N-A-Y 
Madel, M-A-D-E-L, C Nane Madel. I'm so sorry for butchering that, but aren't these so cute? That would be such a nice little Christmas gift stocking stuffer. I love these. And if you scroll down, the link to the blog is at the very bottom. It's not opening up on my stream yard, but it's right here. And the pattern is right here. If you click this link right here at the very bottom, you will get to your free pattern for some reason. StreamYard's not opening it. I don't know why. And then we have this beautiful stained glass scarf. Um, this is available for free on her blog. This is designed by Melinda Miller. And they're using uh, Karen Simply Soft Brights, Aaron Waite, and a four millimeter hook. I love the way that looks. The stained glass is just beautiful. Now here it is. The stained glass pattern is in a bedspread or blanket, I should say. Oh, look, they put some pony beads at the bottom of this one. That's really pretty with the green and black. And then here it is in a baby blanket. Oh, wow, they made curtains out of it. That's interesting. Never thought about that. Honestly. Oh, pretty. Very cool. And this is called Stained Glass Scarf by Melinda Miller. And you can get it for free if you click the link down here at the very bottom. Oh, here it says, visit my website for a free version. And you just click right there, and it'll take you straight to the pattern. There you go. And if you like cute things, look at this pineapple C to C blanket by Jasmine Cannon. This is so cute. I don't know if it's a blanket or if it's... um. Just like a little banner, a little sign. But isn't that adorable? I just love the little face. Katrina says, those socks are pretty. Aren't they so cute? And just think of all the color combinations you could use. I mean, you could make them out of black socks with like hot pink hearts. I would like that. <laughs> but this is really sweet. Pineapple C to C. And it is available for free if you click the link down below. And there's the little chart here. Let's see if where the chart is. Let's see if we can find it down here. Now it doesn't look like, I don't see the chart, but she just gave you the, the directions. Oh, here's the graph. So if you just click here, here's the graph and it'll open up the uh, chart for you. So there is a chart included. And then there's also a video tutorial, which is nice. And that is called Pineapple C to C. Now check this out. This is great for the fall. This is called Thankful Thanksgiving IDC by Angela Foster. Look at how cute that is. It's like a little sampler. And then it's got like a calendar. And this is like thankful, happy Thanksgiving meal, eat, laughter, cook, feast, friends, drinks, bake. Games, family, kisses, hugs, food, love, fun. That is so cute. I love that. So this is for free. If you click the link, it'll take you straight to the pattern. And here you go. It's interlocking double crochet blanket pattern. So this is a big, huge blanket. Wow, that's neat. That is really neat. And that's called Thankful Thanksgiving IDC. Now look at this winter one. Oh, I love this. This is a free Ravelry PDF. And it's by Svetlana Ro uh, Roga. Oh, Lord. R-O-G-A-T-Y-K-H. I do not know how to pronounce that. But look at how beautiful that is. Perfect for winter. And this is a free Ravelry download PDF. They're using Aaron Waite and a five millimeter hook. You need a lot of yarn for this one, about six, a little over 6,000 yards. That's a lot. Now look at this one. Oh, drooling. This is Autumn Fruit by Lindsay Micah. Free Ravelry download. Look at the little cherries on here. Or those little apples. Those are apples, not cherries. 
So cute. Little, what is that, grapes? It's hard to tell. Little teardrops. Are those squash? I don't know. Am I making things up here? That is so pretty. I just love it. Shelly says, loving that snow blanket. I know me too. I love them all. I wish I was rich. I would just pay people to make them for me. Because <laughs> I know I don't have enough uh, time in my life to make everything that I wanted to crochet. But this is really pretty. And it's a free Ravelry download, which is awesome. And it is called Autumn Fruit by Lindsay Micah. And let's see here. We got a couple more rows left. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. This is called Reykjavik. Oh, I know that's like the capital of something, I think. Reykjavik Terrazzo Table Runner. And this is using a sport weight yarn and a three millimeter hook. Isn't that amazing? I love that blanket. It's so pretty. The dark colors just are stunning. And then if you look at the, uh, it won't zoom in. You can see the texture all around the border. Isn't that gorgeous? Cami says, Traverse City is the cherry capital of the world. Oh, cool. Yeah, there are a lot of cherries up in Michigan. Shelly says, it must be a beautiful place in the spring, Cami, with all those flowering trees. Oh, yeah, I love cherries. And Faye says, yes, it is, Cami. We were just in Michigan Friday. Sorry, you guys, I, uh, I canceled my live Friday because my husband was off work. And, you know, we weren't sure he was going to be off or anything. So it was last minute. He's like, let's just go spend the day together. We went to Michigan for lunch and just hung out and went to a couple of different breweries. And it was a lot of fun. And sorry, I called off, but I needed a day. <laughs> and uh, Cammy says, uh, Traverse City is beautiful. Ooh, I'll have to go there one time and check it out. Okay, so this is called Reykjavik. Terrazzo Table Runner, and it's for free. If you uh, click the link on the bottom here, it will take you straight to the blog with the pattern. And look at this turtle candy dish. Oh, this is a free Ravelry download using worsted weight yarn, a four millimeter and a five millimeter hook. You'll need 200 to 250 yards. Is that just so cute? Look at the little face. Isn't that so cute? I just love that. And this is by Karen Athanas, Athanas, A-T-H-A-N-A-S, Athanas. And this is a free Ravelry download. Super cute. And I love this for a Christmas ornament. This would be great to make if you did like an ornament exchange at work. You know how people always do that at work. And uh, I really love the colors of it. And it's free on the blog, not on the Ravelry download. But this is using DK weight and a four millimeter hook. I just thought this was so pretty. And let's see. Faith says, I did the Bayshore in TC. What's TC? I don't know what TC is. Mm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Shelly Smith says, I hope to check it out one day, Cammie. Thanks. And Cammie says, Faith, I am near Metro Airport. I had no clue that you were in Michigan. I love Michigan. And Shelly says, oh, that bowl is too darn cute. It is cute, isn't it? I love that. And Cammie says, I hope you get to come to Traverse City one day too, Shelly. That would be cool. Oh, TC for Traverse City. I should have known that. <laughs> I should have known that. Okay, gotcha. I'm like, hmm. All right. So this is really cute. This is by Alexandra of I Love Knots and Creation Crochet. And it's called Lightweight Through the Window Bobble Ornament. Isn't that so cute? Love that. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, then you click this link right here and it should take you right to the pattern. Hopefully it opens up. Yep, there you go. 
And there's your free pattern. I love those colors with the gray and the white. Now, here's another bag for you. This is called the Diamond Days Bag by Yarnspirations Design Studio. This is using Bernat Softy Cotton DK and 762 yards with a four and a five millimeter hook. This looks like a cute little bag just to tote around. Little backpack. Shelly says, me too. My family are in Vermont, West Virginia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. So I'm sure I will find a way to visit it while over in the U.S. on one trip. Where do you live, Shelly? I'm not sure. I forgot. I think I don't remember. Was it Sweden? Am I wrong about that? I, I feel like I'm wrong about that. Where are you from, Shelly? I can't. Or is it England? United Kingdom? Ah! <laughs> It's hard to remember everybody's details. Okay. So I love this. And I really like the colors of this as well. So if you go ahead and uh, scroll down to the very bottom and click that link, it will take you to the free pattern. And you can just download it right here where it says download free pattern right there. And then um, you can print out your PDF. And this is the Double Hearts Coaster Set by Catherine A. Clark. This is a free Ravelry download. And these would be so cute for Valentine's Day. Shelly says, yes, United Kingdom, Scotland specifically. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I knew it was somewhere around there, but I wasn't for sure. I have a little Scottish blood in me. My mom's side of the family is, some, is from Scotland. Actually, my great-grandmother came here from Scotland. I'm a big mixed bag. I'm uh, English, English, Swedish, a little bit of uh, French, a little Irish, I'm Italian, and German. And I think I'm one more thing. I don't know. I can't remember. I did Ancestry. It was really interesting to find out. But I thought these were really pretty. This would make a pretty little bag, too, if you sewed them all together. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good today. How are you? So these are called Double Hearts Coaster Set, and it's a free Ravelry download. And then we've got the Utter, Utterly Flutterly free Ravelry download. This is beautiful. A beautiful pattern. This would make a nice blanket, wouldn't it? Pardon me while I drink some of my coffee. And with that being said, the, um, the word of the day is coffee. For September uh, the 12th, the word is coffee. Drink your coffee. Okay. This is by McMama Makes. And uh, it's a free Ravelry download. It comes in U.S. and U.K. Ter terms. Now, I really like this cushion. This is called Nomad by Fake Cushion by Martin Up North. I love this. Look at the texture. It's so pretty. Everyone saying hi to Barbara. Cammie says, my dad's grandfather immigrated from Scotland to Winnipeg where my dad's father was born. Ooh, that's cool. Did you do Ancestry or did you just know that? And um, Christy's saying hi to Barbara. Kim's, Kim G says, hi, Laura and friends. Hi, Kim. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. How are you today? Cam says, hey, Riggle. And Shelly says, ooh, that is beautiful. Everyone's saying hello. Thank you all for being so kind. So I love this. That looks so bright and cheery. I love the texture on it. And it's called Nomad by Fake Cushion by Martin Up North. And that's using Aaron Weight and a four millimeter hook. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can get your free pattern by clicking that link on the very bottom there. And there is your pattern. I love the colors in this one. This is called Geo, wait, Granny Geo Square by Goddess Crochet. Goddess Crochet has some cool stuff. I did a designer spotlight on her one time a little while ago. I don't know, maybe a couple months. But isn't that really pretty? 
That would make a really pretty bag too. Tote bag, blanket. I love those colors together. And it's using a six millimeter hook, ear and weight yarn, and it's available for free. If you click the link, it should take you right to the pattern. It does go to the pattern, but StreamYard's not showing it, but it does, it does work. The link does work. So just click this link right here at the very bottom. If you like the Granny Geo Square, uh, let's see. Barbara says, my mom's parents came from Germany. They told me the stories. Ooh, that's cool. How fun. And Christy says, who was the August winner, Laura? Did you do that video already? Yes, I picked the winner of that. Um, I think it was not this past Friday, but the Friday before. And Margaret Martinez won. And I sent her one of the uh, little kits. That's like a zippered case with a bunch of different metal uh, crochet hooks and a bunch of other different notions and things like that. And so she was the one who won. Um, if you wanted to watch that Friday two weeks ago, you could see uh, me pull the winner at the end. And Cammie says, I knew that we actually have the love letters from my great-grandparents, Greg, when my great-grandmother was in Winnipeg and my great-grandfather was still in Scotland. Oh, what a treasure. Oh, I love that. I have some love letters from my grandma and grandpa to each other on my dad's side, but not great grandparents. That's really awesome. And Christy says, that's awesome, Laura. Oh, I'm glad you like that. I thought it was a fun prize. I hope she liked it too. And then um, this month is uh, Halloween stitch markers. If you weren't here, this is the uh, stitch marker set that I made. Um, it's got like a little skull. Oh. Everything is backwards on this dang thing. It's so hard to show stuff. You got a little ah, jack-o'-lantern. Everything is backwards. I can't look at it and show you at the same time. And a little skull here. Boop, boop, boop. So cute. And I am selling these sets too for $15 shipped if you are interested as well. But that is the mystery, or not the mystery, but that is the giveaway for September. And Shelly says, oh, Cami, that is wonderful. I agree. Shelly says, Cami, I know that is so awesome. I love that kind of stuff. Okay. So now we have this beautiful, now stick around because this last one is my favorite, but this is um, called Nomad by Fate Blankets, Martin up North. Look at how pretty. Now this is the same pattern that they used on that yellow um, pillow, but they made a blanket out of it. I bet that's nice and cozy. I love the colors as well. Very cute. And it's by Martin up North. And you can um, scroll down and you click the link at the bottom and it will take you straight to the pattern. And Faith says, Cammie, you should come to the Mid-Michigan Shop Hop. Maybe we could see each other. Ooh, Cammie says... Faith, that would be so much fun. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Too bad I live too far to go up there. And uh, Shelly says, that pillow pattern would be a great set of placemats, too. Yes, it would. That would be a great idea, using some cotton yarn. I went to the Allegan Fiber Fest, or the Michigan Fiber Festival in Allegan a few weeks ago. That was really, really nice. But even that was like two hours from me, because I live in northwest Indiana. So now let me show you the very last um, mosaic. This is so pretty. This is called the Karina Mosaic Shawl. And the pattern is for free on her blog. So don't get discouraged by this over here. And it's by Sylvia, K-A-W-C-Z-Y-N-S-K-A, using light fingering yarn. Look at how beautiful this thing is. I mean, what? It is so pretty. It is just absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. Just everything about it is simply gorgeous. And the tassels really, really jazz it up. Shelly says that shawl is stunning. I know. I thought so too. I was like, what? Oh, I love it. That's like a piece of art, isn't it? It is a piece of art. 
There we go. And this is called Karina Mosaic Shawl. And if you scroll down to the bottom, well, where it says visit the pattern website, here's your free pattern. And you can get a, a PDF if you buy it, or you could just follow the pattern here. Let's see if she has a chart on here. I don't think she does. Let's see. Let's see. Wow, this is a lot of information. Let's see. I just want to see if the chart's on here. I don't, let's see. Oh, here you go. Here is your mosaic crochet section. There is a chart right here in case you wanted to see it. Very cool. So that is beautiful. The Karina Mosaic Shawl. And that is free on her blog. Hi, Maritza. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. And shall I sing hi to Maritza? So if there's any other patterns that you would like to take a second look at, let me know. Let me start at the beginning here. If you wanted to look at anything else one more time before we sign off, I'd be happy to show it to you. And I will be back on Friday with some really pretty patterns that I've already picked out. And if you haven't checked out my Halloween uh, video that I posted yesterday, I have like a 10-minute video that shows 15 different Halloween um, projects that are so cute. I've got some really cute amigurumi and other things too, not just amigurumi, little home decor, just different things. So make sure you check that out too. And um, so if nobody would like to check out any of the other patterns, I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here. I have to go to my mom's and help her out today. So uh, with that being said, I will see everybody on Friday. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Shelly, for the super chat. Thank you, Ursula, for um, giving that uh, membership, gifting that give membership to Faith. I really do appreciate that. And thank you, Faith, for being here and for partaking. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and for participating in the chat. And uh, I hope to see you all on Friday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye. <music>